Hey, buddy. Hey, everybody. Get it? So, good morning. I did not plan on... Jersey, will you pass the creamer, please? Yeah. I got it. Thank you. I did not plan on doing a video today, and this is not a reaction, I apologize, but I think there's something really important we need to discuss as a group. Couch meeting number two. You're on a mission now. Protect the couch. That's where we're at. Protect the couch. I was talking to my besties, uh, Marissa and Gwen, last night in the comments. I'm noticing more and more and more, either through the comments or through private messages, there are a lot of people that really kind of need this. This space that we have created collectively over a matter of a couple weeks, right? Um has become a really important solace for a lot of people. Now, on one hand, I'm referring to Silver Army. You know, they feel lonely in their ways. Some of you are younger and you feel lonely in your own ways. Whatever it is, this, this place has become a, a place of solace, right? You, you feel safe here. You have your conversations in the comments. You have your discussions back and forth. It's a place that we all kind of agree, like, this is the couch. Can't wait to get to the couch. And I love that. That, like I said, the amount of love that I have felt from you all over the past few weeks that this has existed is, I'm speechless. I can't even put words to it. I'm, I'm humbled, I'm extremely grateful. We need to protect the couch. There are a lot of things that could potentially, in their own way, intentionally or otherwise, Try to shut this down. Try to change it. On me, there can be so many expectations to do things X, Y, Z, whatever, that I just say, you know what? This is getting too complicated. That's enough. Sorry, everybody, we had fun. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of do this on my own. That can absolutely happen. I don't want that to happen. We have to keep this space, this space. We have to keep it like it is. There's a lot of people out there that use this as this place of solace, this place of warmth, and that's how it should stay. I am not going to change what's back here. I'm not putting up a green screen. I mean, if I can, if I can give you better video quality, I'm gonna try to do that because I want this to be good for you. Um, I want you to be able to see this handsome, humble face. If I can up the quality of the video that I'm watching, audio-wise or whatever, I'm gonna try to do that. These are things that will enhance the experience for you, but it's not a huge lift on me. So there's kind of a balance, right? One thing I noticed happening in the comments and people messaging me was, hey man, your space is, is unique because it's real. And that made me think. You know, when you get these other people, and I'm not just reactors, I'm just YouTubers, people on video, whatever. It, it graduates to this level of like, they're like a celebrity, they're not real anymore, and it's kind of impersonal. You know, you feel like it's a personality, but like in a bad way. And there's not anybody I'm really thinking about, but I've seen other videos, you know, like the whole screen is... You know, here's my Patreon, which is another thing I'm going to talk about. Don't let me forget. Here's my Patreon. Here's my Twitter. Blah, 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 blah. Ah, that, not for me. It's just not for me. You know, uh, I want this to be real. I'm a real guy. I try to interact with you guys in the comments. I want to know about your lives. Um, you know, Christina, the stuff that you shared with me, the stuff that we talked about. Like Maddie, I know you had your midterms. Um, they went well, you got your B plus, like I'm paying attention. I'm a real person. I need to make sure it's my responsibility to make sure that this space exists the way that it does, the way that it works for everybody. Um, the reason Patreon exists for me, hey, some stuff we want you to watch, you can't watch it on YouTube because of copyright strikes. So you got to do it on Patreon. Okay, so I start a Patreon. Um, and then I eventually learned you can leave everything on Patreon for free, 
But if you want to become a patron, it's like a dollar minimum, USD, whatever. That's if you want to be a patron. But I can still release everything that I want over there for free. Patreon exists for me for that reason. Now, some of you have chosen to support the couch monetarily. And I'm extremely grateful for that. And I mean extremely grateful for that. That does help. Uh, because even if I'm not, and I already have, but even if I'm not upgrading and, you know, like putting up green screens and buying more monitors and, hey, it's Wasco! No, even if I'm not doing that, monetarily, like, yeah, it's nice to be paid for the time that it takes to do this. I'm not just reacting and then hitting upload. There's, there's at least a good hour of work for each video that I do after the video is done, right? So that's just something to think about. And I'm not asking you to pay me. It's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is if you want to support the channel and what's happening, that's how you do it is Patreon. I mean, as far as like monetarily, if you wanted to donate or, or whatever, um, but you don't have to. I'm, I'm not putting anything behind a paywall. Hear me now when I say all of my BTS reaction stuff that I'm doing will be free. Patreon only exists for the stuff that I can't put on YouTube. If you want to support, even if it's a buck, like whatever, great, that's fine. If you don't, you don't. I'm not asking you to. Believe me when I say I'm not asking you to. But what I don't want to happen is, and somebody warned me about this, Patrons will give their, you know, dollar a month or whatever it is. And then they feel like that gives them this power of, hey, you need to do this. I'm sorry, what was that? Mm -mm. This will be the couch. I may lose some subs with this video and I'm okay with that because I need this couch crew to stay the couch crew. That's really important to me. The subs are great because it almost becomes like this, this, um, this analytic graph of impact. That's how it feels, right? We're doing this and we're having a great time and more people want to join. I feel like that is kind of cool. But as they say, as grandma used to say, and now I say, you know, one bad apple will ruin the bunch. It can happen. We're going to have some turds come in here. We have to be ready for that. But we collectively can't let anything change this operation protect the couch really important i hope you all understand that but this is real roscoe this is this is family stuff this is family talks that we're having a lot of you have volunteered your time you have offered to help in ways like it's amazing that speaks to what the couch is about the reason i posted that question yesterday on youtube of you know, I'm thinking about doing a Q&A video. It goes back to the idea that I think there are a lot more lonely army that, than we suspect. And I want them to have a place. I want there to exist enough things that they can put me on the TV and now it's, it's friend time. I think that's important. We must protect the couch. If we lose subscribers, we lose subscribers. But we can't change this. This is for all of us. And if it's not for everybody, it's not for everybody. Because we're going to be real here. We're going to tell stories about Daisy Dukes. We're going to cry. We're going to make asses out of ourselves. We're going to dance. Life is too short to be some facade of yourself. And for what? Right? I told you this was going to be a whole ramble. This is 18 minutes. All right. I got to get to work. BTS makes me late for stuff.